We begin tonight with a fire that rocked the state to its core 14 years ago today. 100 people died, more than 200 others were hurt on that day. And now a memorial foundation for the station nightclub fire has raised millions of dollars to make sure no one forgets the lives lost on that tragic day. Iowa News reporter Kelly Sullivan is live in West Warwick with the story. Kelly. Well, Mike and Shannon, loved ones are expected to gather here about an hour from now when the fire started to toast to the victims. Now, the site of Rhode Island's biggest tragedy has remained unchanged until most recently. So today on the 14th anniversary, it offers some hope with the goal of completing this memorial sometime this spring. Time has moved on. Days and years have gone by, but our hearts are heavy still. for We miss them in our lives. Do I still cry? Absolutely. Do I miss him a lot? Like it was yesterday. Yesterday, February 20th, 2003, Jody King's younger brother, along with 99 others, lost their lives in the station nightclub fire. But on this 14th anniversary of the tragedy, survivors and victims' families are turning the page to a more optimistic chapter. Most of us look at our scars every day or the emotional impact that it had, but um, I think a lot of us are ready. Um, and once the park is done and open, I, it'll be beautiful. Survivor Gina Russo lost her fiance in the fire. Giving her the strength to move forward is the campaign she's leading to build the park with the help of churches, businesses, and the community. The intricate design includes 100 benches for each victim shaped like a speaker box. Victims' families hope this space holds greater meaning than just a dedicated park. To use this memorial as a reminder that we have to watch out for one another and not look the other way. After waiting several years, many say the completion of the memorial will be bittersweet. We just need to finish this so Rhode Island can complete its journey, so to speak. This is Rhode Island's 9-11. It affected everyone here. We ask your strength in our weakness so that we can face tomorrow with hope in our hearts and peace in our lives. And so you may remember last fall, we reported that the foundation reached its fundraising goal of $2 million, but today we just learned they need an additional $120,000 for unforeseen expenses. So if you'd like to donate, you can head to our website. We've provided a link there. For now, reporting live in West Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.